Hi, I'm Terry Brock, and you know I am a huge fan of Skype. Not just because it's really nice and it's groovy to be able to look at people. Yes, it is that, but it's the business applications. And you know that you get a real competitive advantage when you're using a tool like Skype in many different ways. And today, I've got a special treat for you. Hang on, because you're going to get a chance to talk with Matt Jordan. Now, Matt is the business development enterprise manager, and he is a person that is going to help you learn about some things. And he joins me right here, right now. Matt, thanks for being with us. Thank you, Terry. Good to meet with you. Well, you've got a lot of really interesting things that you've seen with Skype and how people are using it. And uh, we're particularly interested in ways that people are saving money with it, but also in how they're using it to generate funds. You travel around and see a lot of people. What are you seeing right now happen in ways people are using Skype for generating business? Well, uh, Skype for Business uh, has a uh, new product suite that adds upon the success of the Skype application that you may be familiar with, uh, with the consumer application. So businesses nowadays that are looking to save time, save money, and stay ahead are adopting Skype in a myriad of ways. So that could be the Skype application at the desktop level. It could be running Skype within your smartphone, your iPhone. Or it could be tying in your legacy phone system, your PBX, with Skype for SIP or Skype for Asterisk. And by marrying these three together, then you're able to really realize some real savings as well as add to the rich communications that Skype can provide your business and, and add value there as well. Yeah, well, now, one of the things that uh, you're doing right now, we know the big announcement is you, when you talk about using Skype to connect with people and to communicate, you're doing that now over HD. And I understand with high definition, that's just going to make uh, all kinds of possibilities. Tell me about what's happening with that and how you're seeing that used in the real world. Well, it is very exciting. So Skype offers uh, wonderful ultra-wideband audio already. And here at CES, we've announced the ability to expand the video offering into the HD realm. And uh, Skype video is very, very well used within the platform. We see peaks in, in our usage where over 50% of Skype calls are including Skype video. And, and that's free video. And yeah, that word free is really nice for businesses. Very nice. Very nice. It's, it's my mantra, actually. Uh, but when you add in HD and you add in the form factors with the HD TVs, that will just make it that much easier for a business to adopt this technology because it's buying one device, a HD TV, hanging it on your wall, and you've got built-in HD video conference. Yeah. You know, one of the things you and I were talking about before we started doing the video here was the way they, it can be used in medicine. So, for instance, a doctor can look at that and see much more detail than they ever could possible. What do you see happening in that realm? So, uh, it's very exciting. I've, I've been talking to uh, different verticals within uh, the business realm, and, and uh, Telemedicine is one of the exciting areas. And so using Skype video and the Skype screen sharing, you're able to uh, have a remote diagnostic test using Skype video. And uh, in the example that uh, I've been working with, it's for a remote uh, stress test for a cardiologist. And so a person's on a treadmill. They're walking away, getting their heart test. Uh, and because that Skype video is connected to a PC, they're able to switch to screen share which is another native application within Skype, and be able to see the diagnostics from the medical applications running on that PC as well. Yeah, and for a business application, one of the things you mentioned there I think is particularly good is the screen share, because uh, in those that are doing a lot of presentations, we can now, one of the things I'm doing is being able to make a presentation of myself wherever I am to a group of people wherever they are, and it would seem like using that screen share can be helpful, and understand that now that's available on Windows and Mac, is that right? That's correct. It's available for both Windows and Mac, and uh, to bring an expert into a remote location for a conference or for a speaking engagement like you just spoke about is fantastic. The uh, remote uh, administration and tech support that you can offer to go from a Skype call, uh, have video, and then switch that over to a screen share and say, look, this is the error that I'm seeing on my PC right now. And to be able to do that either within your organization or if you get your tech support from a third party, Skype enables that B2B communication as easily as the internal Skype communication within your organization. And going back, it seems like that's a great way for revenue generation. Someone who is a salesperson making that uh, presentation to a group of people, to maybe members in a conference room or even to a larger group. They would be able to do that and show uh, different types of things that are there. What are some other ways that you see that Skype could be useful in increasing that productivity as well as the revenue? 
Sure. So let me walk you through an example uh, using the salesperson uh, as the example. So a person is making their calls. They reach their customer via a Skype call, and that could be a native Skype call or a call to their customer's PSTN or regular phone number, landline or mobile phone. Now, if it is a native Skype call, that salesperson can easily say, well, hey, Joe, I'm glad I got you on the phone. Here's our new price list. Let me drop it into our chat that we also have going within Skype. Drops that file into that chat chat session, the voice, the video, the file transfer, everything is encrypted end-to-end -end with Skype. So that's another thing to bring up. With yeah, very nice. To being free, it's very secure. And uh, so this sales call is that much more effective because you're able to share not only your desktop, but also any document that you want to share with your customer. So you have a new product line, you want to get those glossies out to a large group, you have a uh, group chat, a persistent group chat of all your customers, you can just drop that file in and as long as they're using Skype, your customers, they'll all receive that file encrypted end to end from your business to your customer base. Yeah, very nice. Now one of the things that people have asked about is getting support with Skype. And we know right now that they're not able to get it uh, live, call up this number, et cetera. But there are many ways you can do it. If someone says, hey, I got a bunch of technical questions over the next three months, what's the best way for them to find out help and to get that assistance? Sure, so uh, probably the best way uh, for a person to learn more about Skype and get the answers that they need from a technical perspective is to take part in our forums on our Skype for Business website. Uh, Alternatively, there are other uh, mechanisms to uh, reach customer support. It's email for the large majority of our consumer base right now, but as we evolve into the business space, we're actually taking a white glove or an enhanced level of support for both customer support, technical support, sales, and, and payment and remit. Yeah, and thanks for mentioning that because that's something I found very beneficial going to the forums and a lot of people might not know about that, but that's a really good way to get help when you have some of those questions. Although, realistically, there's not a whole lot of questions. You usually just plug it in and it works. It's very nice. So what do you see coming for the future? We've got HD now. We've got that. We're going to be watching it on our regular TVs, being able to see Skype that way. It seems impossible. Like, okay, what can you do next? Well, you know, we're going to continue to grow uh, upon the success of our consumer application, our business application the native Skype experience. So improving the overall quality, uh, enhancing the functionality of that client. But we also are expanding into the mobility space. So, uh, you know, we run on 90% of the world's smartphones right now. And to be able to bring down uh, your mobility spend, especially if you're talking about calling internationally or roaming internationally, that's something that businesses are really looking to save money on because more and more of their overall percentage of their telecom budget is going towards wireless. So we, we definitely will be enhancing our, our wireless uh, offerings. And, you know, we're seeing partnerships with folks like 3.co.uk in the UK where they've opened up their 3G network uh, to Skype. And uh, AT&T just last year made an announcement, an exciting announcement about uh, net neutrality on their 3G network and uh, the ability in the future for Skype to possibly run over their 3G network for voice calls as well. Uh, so that's that's very exciting in the mobility space. And then near and dear to my heart from the Skype for Business side of things is the Skype for SIP offering, which is a way for regular businesses with any legacy phone system, uh, any PBX, to open themselves up to the Skype ecosystem. So to uh, basically enable free inbound calls from the Skype ecosystem with click-to-call buttons that you can put on your emails and on your website that enable the 500 million plus Skype subscriber, uh, Skype IDs out there in the world to call your business for free. But also you can use the same service to pick up the phone from your desk without changing your users' calling patterns whatsoever. They dial a number and instead of going out the regular telephone network provider, it goes out via Skype and they realize cost savings because we offer international dialing to 38 countries around the globe and that number is always expanding for just 2.1 cents per minute. Yeah, very nice. I've used that a lot in the travels that I make around the world. And really, it hit me that I could set in, I was in uh, St. Petersburg, Russia, and had to call a client uh, that I was going to see in a few weeks over in the UK. And I was able to do it for about two cents a minute, maybe three cents uh, max. And it was very nice. I think, wow, amazing the difference. And it really facilitates relationships, because that's what it's all about. It's building relationships. And Skype is not really a telecommunication company. It's not about video. It's about building relationships. And that's what you do. And you you do it exceptionally well. So thank you for all that you do on that and looking forward to even more in the future. Matt, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Terry.